The restoration of ties between Saudi Arabia and Iran has been welcomed by Qatar. The foreign ministers of both Qatar and Jordan discussed developments in Palestine. Meanwhile, astronomical calculations predict the beginning date for Ramadan this year. And finally, a third public bid by Sheikh Jassim's consortium has been made for Manchester United. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top story. Qatar has welcomed the decision by Iran and Saudi Arabia to re-establish diplomatic ties in a China-brokered deal. After a seven-year rift, the two Middle Eastern nations reached a deal in Beijing, with the two countries agreeing to reopen their embassies within two months. Iran and Saudi Arabia both have agreed to respect state sovereignty and refrain from interfering in each other's internal affairs. Qatar's Prime Minister and Foreign Affairs Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdurrahman Al Thani met with Jordan's Foreign Minister Ayman Al Safadi to discuss the latest developments in Palestine amid increasing escalations by Israel. Both officials renewed the importance of Palestinians' right to freedom and an independent state with East Jerusalem as its capital. Since the start of the year, Israel has killed at least 84 Palestinians with assaults intensifying and occurring on a daily basis. Now, according to astronomical calculations by Qatar Calendar House, the holy month of Ramadan has an unofficial start date. Ramadan is expected to begin on Thursday, 23rd of March, with the month of Sha'ban expected to end on 22nd of March. However, the official announcement will not be made until Tuesday, 21st of March by the Ministry of Endowments. And finally, Sheikh Jassim Al Thani and his consortium are still set on buying English Premier League giants Manchester United despite the Glazer family overvaluing the club. Sheikh Jassim is looking to buy out the Glazers as well as minority shareholders in their entirety to invest in the squad, youth system and facilities. His team are scheduled to fly out to Manchester and visit Old Trafford this week as the sale process enters its second phase. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.